Everyone says you need to know your numbers to be successful in trucking. Well, it's a cliche for a reason. It seems simple enough, right? You need to know how much it costs to do a thing before you can actually charge someone to do that thing for them. But how do you get to those numbers as the small business owner? I'm Caroline, your trucking business professor here at the Bobtail Help Desk, and my goal is to help your trucking business thrive. If that sounds good to you, subscribe to the channel. There are a few different numbers that you should know as the owner of a trucking business. They include fuel economy, top line revenue, and profitability. But today we're going to focus on cost per mile. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's how much does it cost your business to run your truck one mile? And we are going to be looking at actual numbers here. So I'm assuming that you're an owner operator running 10,000 miles per month. For this example, I'm going to be plugging in all the numbers into Trucker Calculator, which is a free online tool you can use to calculate your cost per mile and lots of other financial metrics. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out and play around with it with your own numbers. If you're using another platform like a transportation management system or TMS, you might have a feature there that calculates your cost per mile. Use whatever is most convenient for you now. We'll start with fixed costs. If you remember from our previous video on financial management and trucking, these are the costs that don't change from month to month depending on the number of miles you drive. Even if your truck only delivers one load, you still have to pay all these expenses. Let's start with a truck payment. Now I am trying to be as realistic as possible here, so I found a 2021 Freightliner Cascadia for $69,950. Let's say you're going to put 15% down. That's $10,492.50. And you finance the rest at 11% interest for 36 months. ET Transport has a great commercial equipment loan calculator on their website. I highly recommend using that if you're thinking about buying a truck and trailer. There's a link in the description to that as well. Using their calculator, it comes out to a $1,946.56 monthly payment. Then you need a trailer. I found a used drive-in trailer for $22,850. You put 15% down on that, finance the rest at 11% over the same 36 month period, and you get a $635.87 monthly payment. By no means am I suggesting that you should buy this specific equipment. I'm just trying to give you realistic numbers of what you might find out on the market today. Next is insurance. When you're first starting out, that first year of insurance is going to be the most expensive. You can expect to pay about $30,000 in that first year, and that works out to be $2,500 per month. Next is your own salary. Now, if you're an owner operator, you don't have another driver driving your truck to pay, but you do still have to cover your own personal expenses. Simply put, if you're working for your business, you should be paying yourself just like you would pay any employee. If you're starting out, you can keep it pretty modest around $50,000. For the month, that's $4,166.67. Next is software. Think things like your ELD, maybe you have a Google business account, maybe you have your own website, your load boards, any software that you're using to run your business should be included here. I budgeted about $300 a month. Finally, for fixed costs, there's any property expenses. Maybe you rent an office, maybe you rent a space to park your truck, make sure you include these in your calculation. A lot of owner operators live out in the country where they can park their truck on their own property for free. For the purposes of this model, I'm assuming you do that. So for the total fixed costs running at 10,000 miles per month, you're looking at 95 cents per mile. Moving on to variable costs. These are the expenses that change with the number of miles that you drive. The biggest variable expense by far is going to be your fuel expenses. And this will change a lot throughout the year with the fluctuation in diesel prices. So definitely update your cost per mile numbers every month or so. For the Freightliner Cascadia that we looked at before, I'm guessing that that gets about seven miles to the gallon. With the current national average for diesel at 448, that'll be 64 cents per mile. Maintenance is another big expense that has high variability. Even if you don't have a big maintenance bill to pay that month, you should be putting away some money so that you have savings for when your truck breaks down or has other issues. Now, we were looking at some older equipment. The older equipment that you have, the more you need to save for maintenance fees. 
Using our model, I'm putting away $1,200 per month or 12 cents per mile. Next is taxes. Now I'm going to keep out federal corporate or self-employment taxes from this model since those are paid based on your profit. But there are some other taxes that you can plan for like heavy vehicle use tax, IFTA, and FICA. I won't go into detail on these. If you want more information about IFTA, you can see our dedicated video on that topic. And I'll leave some other links in the description so you can learn about the other taxes. Let's be conservative and set aside $5,500 per year for these taxes. That's $458.33 per month, another five cents per mile. Now factoring. If you're new to the industry, factoring is a financial service that pays your invoices quickly. This comes in handy because brokers typically take between 30 and 60 days to pay invoices. With all the expenses that you have to pay as an owner operator or a small fleet owner, you really need those payments much faster. This is where Bobtail can help. Our factoring service gets you paid fast with no long-term contracts and no hidden fees. The no hidden fees part makes it really easy to know exactly what you're going to pay for the service. Our factoring rate for owner operators is 3.24%. If you're running 10,000 miles at the average van rate now of 212 per mile, you'll pay $686.88 per month. This works out to about seven cents per mile. Next is tolls. This expense, of course, depends on where you drive. I've set aside about $500 or five cents per mile. Finally, the miscellaneous category. It's impossible to predict every little expense you'll have out on the road, but you can give yourself a little buffer for those incidental expenses. I added another five cents per mile for these things. Okay, you can see in our calculator that this adds up to $1.94 per mile. Now, I know that might sound higher than other videos or articles that you've seen. It's probably because they're not including a salary for the owner operator. But if you're not able to pay your living expenses, you probably need to revisit your strategy as a business owner. And I don't know about you, but $1.94 per mile is uncomfortably close to that $2.12 per mile that's the national average van rate right now. I recommend watching our video on how to improve profit next so you can get ideas for how you might decrease your expenses and increase your revenue going forward. Also join our Facebook group where we will post about our free online events for owner operators and small fleet managers on how to run their business better and make more profit. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe for more trucking business content and I'll see you in the next video.